Hello and welcome to round three. We've won the die roll and we will choose to play first. And, ooh, we have a keep. Something we've been lacking recently. Uh, yep, very easy keep. Nice curve. Attack with the exemplar for uh, three on turn. What am I doing? Might need to play land. Yeah, attack for three on turn two. Okay, Kajar Seed Sculpt is annoying. Um, so ideally this turn we would have used Die Young rather than the Fairgrounds Warden, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. So here we want to draw land. Hopefully have a target for Die Young and then crack the Cogworkers Puzzle Map. Rhino is not a target for Die Young. Um, I guess we attack like that. And then if our opponent blocks, we'll Die Young. Okay, second so trade. I think I'm fine with that. Trading your three drop for my one drop. I'll take that. It does kind of diminish our board presence, which is um, annoying, but I think we can deal with it. So four mana, so they've knocked out two green. This could be a Pima Outrider. No, more for squad. Oh, we can deal with that. Come on, put a counter on it. Oh, you made my day. Yeah, I'm just gonna die young that straight away. I'm getting in with the one power beatdowns. Driving rats. Sure. Here we just play our own thriving creature. As is slightly larger and more goat like. Well, I'm going to attack with Ibex and put energy counters. Guess they don't block. No. Nope. And play another Ibex. So I think potentially we could have lethal next turn. Draw a swamp. We get to remove a creature, attack with everything, get in for six. That is that is not a swamp. Um so I guess um I guess we attack with both the Ibex and I'll make a 4 6 and a 2 4. So this is the one on the right, which we don't want to pump. So we are offering a trade to our opponent, um, basically, our, our Ibex for their rats. But this way, um, if they have like Blossom Defense in their hand, or I guess Ornamental Courage, we won't lose our big Ibex. Yeah, we're just going to put all the damage on the rats here.
Ooh, that's an annoying one. Okay, so what happens if we attack here? Our opponent has to block basically 7 power in the Ibex and the Toolcraft Exemplar. Uh, and takes 2, 5, 6. So attacking isn't that good for us. I guess we still attack with the Thriving Ibex. Ooh, but then if we attack and kill the Lawless Broker, um, we get to a counter from the Arvax Stomper. So that doesn't seem quite so good. So we should have enough to go wide if our opponent doesn't play a creature. And even if they do, we still have an out by drawing a swamp. Okay, so our opponent's playing quite a, a big deck. You know, Cowl Prowl and Arvax Stomper. So underhanded designs won't do it this turn, but it will do it next turn. We'll probably draw a swamp now because that'll give us uh, tidy conclusion, but not both tidy conclusion and underhanded designs. Because that's the way this works. Naturally. So, our opponent's not played anything. Uh, they played a land for their turn. Um, if they had a creature, they'd play it, unless they're wanting to leave up their own tidy conclusion. So, say we kill Cowl Prowler, um, our opponent blocks the two four-power creatures and we just win. Um... Do we win? I think, do we win? So I guess we still win even if they kill one of our three power creatures no no we don't add six okay i'm just gonna crack the underhanded designs now um we could have left that out and used the drain possibly to kill them but i think because they know about that it's worth um using that rather than tidy conclusion Okay, so they're going to use Rush of Vitality. That's pretty annoying for us, and we can't attack. Okay. <clears throat> so, I guess the good thing there is they don't have that as a combat trick, and they haven't been able to use the lifelink, which on a, on a Cowl Prowler would really pull them back into the game. Okay, they played a land as well, so that's their draw for the turn. Nope, we didn't play our swamp. Like we have no benefit to playing it, so it's gonna be another cow prowler. Dukara scavenger bringing back presumably thriving rhino. Morphus squad. Okay, I guess it gives them two bodies if they need it. Okay, so we kill Cowl Prowler and attack. We have our 4 6, 4 5, and 3 2 blocked. We're going for 6 again. Yeah, it might have been a, an opportunity that we wanted to keep. Um, Unhand designs on the board. Just for the drain. Okay, and now we're just going to tidy conclusion the cowl prowler because it's the biggest thing on the board.
age room mechanic. What does age room mechanic do for us here? Not much. We could bounce the fairgrounds warden, give them back their Kajar Seed Sculptor and take the Arvax Stomper. I guess that makes combat easier. Um, they wouldn't have great blocks. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's put it on the server, okay. I think here we take the Arvax Stomper just because it has the most power. So if we attack now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have five, so two things get through. Um, the blocks don't line up. Great, we'd, I, we're only getting for two, so I do, do we attack? So I guess they put Servo on, oh, two crashes on plus first strike, doesn't it? So, hmm, maybe we do attack. I think. Oh, we can't talk with the avian mechanic, can we? So, that doesn't make things simpler. Hmm. I think we're fine doing this, though. <clears throat> Without doing any maths, I think basically the outcome is that they have to lose more creatures than we do. They can't kill our two biggest creatures without double blocking. Um, and then they're going to take damage anyway. Yeah, they're going to double block. Ooh, they're going to kill the elephant. Surely you want the Lawless Broker to die more than the Morphy Squad at this stage. So the outcome of this is we're going to have Ibex, Exemplar, Servo, Mechanic, Warden. I'm wondering if they've got First Strike or something. So we are going to lose our two big creatures, but they're going to have, what, Seed Sculptor and Scavenger. So next turn, if we want to go wide, we should still have that. Okay, well, we'll kill the Seed Sculptor because we can't kill the Scavenger. I'm not sure that's right, leaving us with the Ibex there. And also leaving themselves with uh, a Dukara Scavenger that's... A uh, lawless broker that's not dead, rather than a, something that's useful. Okay, the return Morphis squad. So they're going to get the um, servo back. So we attack here. They're going to double block the ibex and they're going to kill the fairgrounds warden. So I don't think we can let them do that. So we don't attack. Maybe that attack was wrong, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it worked all right for us in the end. That would have been such a good draw if they'd not just played their own. I, uh, I think we want Make Obsolete in, in this game. Dream Black is a decent Fabricate pairing. So... And if they've got Morphis Squad, for example. And even in long combats like that one we just had, make it um, obsolete is really good at just tilting everything in your favour. I think we wouldn't have lost our elephant. 
And we definitely want to lost the Dunned operative. Die young. Okay. They're going to attack. This is going to be a long time. Ugh. Well, I guess we'll play Aether Hub. Can't imagine it coming in particularly useful, but. What do we want here? Um, I guess we just want one of our big flyers. Mm, we don't want to play that either, so some way of killing that would be nice. Chief. Hmm. Well, we'll play him. Um, not really that useful, to be honest. We're not looking like we're going to get into the red zone anytime soon. And they're going to start getting life back. This is going to be painful. Is that not a mistake? Can we not win now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm going on five life, not three now. Uh, so if we attack with everything, we do get three damage in, but... Um, they're going to get to like, put a counter on their Aether Ball Marauder. So they'll take three, gain three next turn. You know, the real threat, we're going to lose this game to two Flyers. And now we're outnumbered. Oh my god. I think I think we've lost this game. Well, this is most disappointing. I guess essence extraction keeps us in it for another turn. So we want to go like essence extraction into uh, maybe not. Yep, that's not going to do it. Ugh. Well, we were well ahead in that game, but we drew blanks and lost to Flyers. Okay. So, definitely want Make Obsolete in. Possibly want Live Fast and Skygate. They seem fine cards. Uh, what's, what's the last card? I'm actually going to take out Harness Lightning and the Mountain, you know. Um, I just think... It's not coming that useful. Um, what have we got? Put an extra swamp, so it will be eight and eight. That seems fine to me. Um, so, do we want to bring in contract Skygate? That's a question. Um, <laughs> we possibly do, but you know, this card's. Not going to be that good. Live fast could be fine, but again, I don't think it's that good. I think I'm just going to keep it as it is. Be quite feel like we can be quite aggressive and get under our opponent. Yeah, this hand's not exceptional, but I think it's keep. Basically, we want an artifact uh, and a swamp, and our opponent's multi five, so that should help. Well, I guess, I guess that is an artifact. There's an artifact that we can cast as well, but we can do with a swamp here. Okay, well, our opponent has nothing. Um, On turns two and three, which yeah, very good for us. We're going to do essence extraction. Yep. So the most annoying part there is probably that they get to gain three life. We'll just crack.
we're just going to tidy conclusion that. Um, may as well give the Mastodon Vigilance. Probably won't count for much, but... If it plays a creature that we can kill, we just will. Can't kill that. And they're gonna get back the Steel Vax done, but that's, that's mildly annoying. So I'm gonna vigilance up the Bastion Mastodon and attack with that and the Ibex. Kill the Ducala Scavenger. We could have possibly saved server exhibition for in case we draw like um, underhanded designs, but I think Chief draw that. That's just going to be much better. Die Young. What we can do here is we can play Die Young just to gain two energy, pump the Ibex and attack with that and the Mastodon. It's not the worst idea. Yep, so now we really want to draw our Chief of the Foundry. Should we just find? Yeah. So let's replay the Ducara Scavenger and get back there, Arvax Stomper. Yep. Nice little, uh, little turn from our opponent there. So I guess we still attack with everything. If they want to take seven and kill a servo, I am fine with that. Really do without flooding out here so we don't really want to trade our ibex for one of their creatures and just leave ourselves with four servos so i'm already thinking they've played this arvax stomper about what three times now that life gain is really adding up built to last Hmm. I don't think it does enough here. Eh, pillar bug does something. Okay, that's a good draw. So I guess if we kill a creature, they crew the train, they block Pillar Bug and Ibex, um, we use Built to Last on Pillar Bug, we kill they see all their creatures and the train, get in for four. They have a card in hand. Uh, did they play land last turn? They did play land last turn. Didn't play one on turn 12, turn 11. So they... I guess they have got a land in hand. So... Which one do I want to get rid of? Um, I want to get rid of the scavenger because I can't kill that. So 
do your worst. I can't say I was expecting that. Um, we're going to take seven here. We could actually make them take nine. Um, but you know, activate lifelink. Built to last the pillar bug. So then they have no creatures on the board. And facing down presumably what is lethal next turn. Well, that worked out nicely in the end. Okay, I'm thinking we do want this live fast. Games are going to go quite long. Um, so that seems like it's going to be useful. A lot of a lot of servos in this game doesn't seem that useful. Oh, might help. If I had my laptop charged up, there we go. Um... So, Inspired Charge also seems like it could be a good card in this matchup. Because the, the, the longer the game goes, the wider the board gets, and therefore the more, the better, I should say, Inspired Charge gets. I think we can cut, like, one of our Toolcraft Exemplars on the draw. We're not going to be that aggressive. And ideally, you cut a non creature spell, but I think it might just be better to cut an Ibex here. I think that's fine. Um, certainly, yeah, uh, could be wrong. You know, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, but let's see how we get on. The, uh, the deciding round. This is a keep. Now we have to decide between a turn two cogwork puzzle knot to pump the toolcraft exemplar. Um. Hmm. Hmm. So if we play Cogworkers Puzzle Knot or even Servo Exhibition, um Basically we're gonna miss out on two triggers of underhanded designs, but I think this is better. Um I'm gonna go with puzzle knot, I think. So he has like make obsolete, for example, this protects us slightly better. Pain train. Uh... So, I think I'm just going to play Dund Operative here, hold back that Renegade Freighter. So if our opponent doesn't attack us here, and we don't draw a land, we probably want to play Live Fast, just to ensure we hit that land drop. Essence Extraction, massively annoying. Presumably they're going to crew the train here and attack us for five. Yeah, them gaining life's uh, annoying there. Okay, so we do draw the land. Um... Can play underhanded designs and hold servo exhibition. Um, we can, we're going to crack this puzzle knot um, potentially, but we can also um, use underhanded designs to kill the train. If 
they do crew the train, I'd put them on almost certainly having Rush of Vitality. Lawless Pro Care. They have left up Rush of Vitality. Crew the train didn't attack. Well, um, sure. Okay, so we can just play Bastion Mastodon here. So if we play Servo Exhibition, we can drain them twice, but it leaves us so vulnerable to make obsolete. We also probably don't want to drain them twice. We probably only want to drain them once and leave up underhanded designs. The other option is actually we play live fast. If we find like our Wispy Rangel on this board and the land, then that's gonna be that's gonna be one way to close out the game. Let's go with that. Fairgrounds Warden, that does also work. Next turn, we're probably going to play Server Exhibition, Drain twice, leave up underhanded designs. Okay. Do they have Rush of Vitality? I'm going to do this at the beginning of combat so I know what I'm facing. They don't have it. Hmm. I'll I'll take three there. Hmm. Eighth one marauder. That's annoying. Fortunately for you, so the, the really annoying part here is we don't have double white. We do have enough to go. Fairground to Warden block. Um, so if we attack with the... Definitely attacking with a Toolcraft Exemplar. Uh, I'm debating whether we want to attack with any of the servos. The difference between doing three and four is a turn, so I'm going to attack with one of them. The next turn play like our Bastion Mastodon. Also, I think I forgot to play my land there. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference because we need white here. Uh, sure, I'm just going to let three through. Cowl Prowler. Majorly annoying. That's the card we want. So now we're going to go firmly into chump block mode with the servos, which we can do for a while. So I think the Harrier should be enough. I guess Rush of Vitality will gain them a lot of life. Be a major thorn in our side. So now I think we win just by going wide next turn anyway. Uh, 
So I guess if our opponent has Rush of Vitality and we go wide, we don't win. So let's not take that risk. And now, uh, yeah, with Rush, we're making them attack us, which I think, even with the life gain, might not be enough. They'd go up to eight. We'd get through with five one power creatures and a bird. Yeah. There's a flyer here, is going to be a pain. Oh, point scoops. Okay, well, that was there. Uh, Quite interesting final round. I hope you enjoyed watching. It probably will be the last card draft I do, which is kind of disappointing because I really enjoyed the format and hope when Aether Revolt comes out, it's as exciting and the decks are as good to build. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, then please like it below and tell us anything we can improve on in the comments. And please subscribe to the channel. There will be more stuff. Uh, there will be cubes coming up on Magic Online at some time, uh, at some stage, which I know James is a big fan of, so you can expect to see some of those. And we do have some standard deck text in the work that we uh, we hope to bring to you soon and now uh, hope to see you in the future